Hey all, Binks here. Ronin has always been a very powerful five drop, especially since it got a two point power buff to its base power recently. It's never really found a great spot in the meta. That is until an absolute legend named Toto got fourth place in the Lambies tournament that was a really, really big competitive tournament and showcased that Ronin could be really strong. So today we tried out Toto Ronin. Uh, I'll link their Twitter down below. They're a very cool person. Uh, so the general idea of this deck is to annoy our opponent early on with things like Iceman and the new Baron Mordo uh, to muck up the cost of their hands and make it hard for them to play early. Uh, we then have things like uh, Jeff and Maximus to be able to uh, blast some cards out. Uh, we have Killmonger, Red Guardian, and Nocturne in the 3-drop slot. Just really, really powerful uh, kind of board flipping tools. And then it has Super Giant on 4. Uh, you can either like hide a Maximus and a Red Guardian for later. Uh, you can hide either a claw or a ronin to not really know where that power is going to come uh, lots of cool things you can do with it uh iron lad has a bunch of great hits and then we have red hulk on the top end a uh, very fun very solid deck and very very creative and unique so shout out to toto again for uh, creating this overall we did it okay we started really uh, having some troubles because it's a bit hard to learn but once we kind of understood the lines uh, we ended up being q positive uh, and a little bit over 500 in top 5000 infinite uh, so definitely a great deck if you want to try out ronin on ladder as always if you're enjoying this content make sure to hit the like button check down below make sure you subscribe catch you live at twitch.tv slash banks underscore plays enjoy you peace wearing ad rights you could wear a hat as a treat so true Entertain me, Binks. Very self-aware of you. I appreciate that. Next turn's probably Maximus Jeff. I don't love it, but probably just the best play. Uh, I don't know how well we match against High Evo. High Evo probably has some problems where winning Kiln. I think our expectations should be Cyclops right this turn. Uh, we just avoid that by winning right with Claw. So my expectation is that right now they're going to play Cyclops here. Mm, we're actually in a rough spot because we can't Claw the turn that we want to. It's very annoying actually. We have to do this instead. But Red Hulk should help us win. It's Moon Girl. So they're gonna full pass. Then we so we go claw left, then we go Nocturne Jeff. Jeff right, Nocturne middle, Red Hulk middle. We should get enough. They don't full pass. Okay. Unexpected. Oh shit, they are we're gonna play double A bomb. But we're still we're still fine to double A bomb. Oh, we lose to Shang-Chi if they have it. But who would run that card? Maybe if they have Jeff, we could be in trouble? Let's see. But my Red Hulk's just bigger than Double A Bomb, which is kind of cool. Your world. Some extra power just in case something weird happens. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, this still beats double A bomb, right? 18. You have the claw. They should never be able to overpower us middle unless they have Sean. And then Cannonball, it's a 50 50 if they have that. Double A bomb plus what? They can only do double, right? Oh, I guess. I don't mind. Play a bunch of shit. Fuck off. Oh, we're fine. Red Hulk. Okay. Oh, dude. I, I thought because they passed, they were going to have enough with the Misty Night, Night Trigger. Just very beautiful melodic sounds over like a bass drum or a drum and bass beat that was slightly slowed down. Uh, and I was I was en enchanted by it. So actually, hilariously, I, th I, was, I was thinking about going and trying to find uh, a bunch of... 
bunch of ways. Location batching isn't real, by the way, just in case you were wondering. That song is featured in a lot of movies. I've never heard it before, I don't think. What, what other movies is it in? Here's in the film Stormbreaker, The Born Identity, The Hot Chick, and Collateral. Look at that. We want a super giant. This turn seems fine. Enough said, Bub. I want a Maximus uh, later, but I could just play it on six. Hard chasing in the born. Yeah, you crushed it. Born identity. Call oh, the famous police chase scene. But uh, I feel like I'd never heard a song like that before. I thought it was sick as hell. Or at least like I've never heard a song quite like it before. You monster! Oh, I shouldn't have put that here, huh? Probably should clean this information in my brain. Uh, I'm scared of Sean Middle, but there's nothing I can do about it. We just try and win left by as much as we can. That's a Ronin build. It's by uh, someone named Toto, who got fourth place in Lamy's uh, Lamy's deck. Okay, we have a shit ton of power coming middle. Enough said, Bob. As long as this isn't Shang Chi, we're, we should be fine. I was so right for going all in the middle. Right and smart and talented. Victory. This deck never has Zola. They probably had that. I don't know. I guess maybe they didn't. It's kind of crazy if they wouldn't have played Zola if they did have it. It's Baron Mordor their uh, death to give them a two cost discount. Yeah, Blood's out here playing Death Wave, man. Yeah, there's a lot of people who frequent the stream a lot uh, that to make it fair because they know what deck I'm playing, that they tell me what deck they're playing and then they, um, before they leave. Uh, quite a few members of the community do it. I think it's always very nice. Certainly not needed. Like, um, you don't have to feel like that's something you need to do, but... I think Maximus Overpass there is, is better. It's not super ideal, but what a game. I want to play as many cards as I can right uh, to get into Lecha Gia without having to play over there. Finally got infinite for the first time. What do you do now? You, you get to play the game. It's like uh, it's like that one um, South Park thing where they like finally destroy that one dude. They're like, what are we going to do now? It's like now we get to play the game and then they just keep doing the same thing. Basically, what you gonna do? What a game! What if it's a Deadpool? If your hand is falling, you destroy him. He dies. He die. He dead. He dead. He dead man. Imagine being close enough in rank to play Binks. Chump, I bet you're like secretly a a top top ten player. Okay, what did they play by itself on turn five? Uh, if I had to guess, I would say that is a Lady Death Strike. If I had to guess. They're up by 7 left. Which I cannot overcome. Uh, Red Skull... Iron Lad very often overcomes it, actually. We're up by... 6 min. 8 here. They have death. Uh, they probably can't play death, right? Death is probably quite expensive. Maybe they could death Deadpool. Because I think they popped Deadpool once, this or Deadpool twice, this once or twice. Let's go middle.
Okay, we lose to death, right? No, because they can't Deadpool Venom, right? So it's, let's set death. Nice. It's a casserole. Ah! Not a casserole. <laughs> GG's. I deserve that one. Like, I'm not trying to uh, dunk on you or anything, uh, Super Sentai, but I remember that earlier you were, you kind of said something along the lines of, um, so I'm, I'm around the lines talking about how the meta, you, you know, is not great or whatever because of Hella and Toxic. And while it might not be true, that could lead you down the route of saying, like, the reason I'm not winning is because of everyone else is playing these cheat decks. Uh, and I personally think that that can uh, bite, bite in the ass quite a bit. Um, as opposed to trying to control what you can control and... Like changing what the what the onus of uh, things can be. Oh, Loki! Oh my God, who plays Loki? <laughs> Fucking bullshit! <laughs> uh, you get it? It's like a joke because I was just talking about how you shouldn't do that. But but if you look at the game and you take your losses, and instead of saying it's because my opponent played a deck that was just better. And you say, okay, what could I have done on those previous turns to set myself up for success? Uh, I stayed in on that game, but like, how could I have ever won it? I feel like maybe I should have changed things around and like done things a little bit differently and I would have been better. Uh, if you try and focus on stuff like that, I think that you'll, you'll be in a much better position to succeed in general. Okay, I'm scared of them playing Ronin middle. I think I do want to end the game here. If it's Ronin middle, I probably lose. Ah, oh, we beat this. Nice. Unless it's also claw left. I don't think they should be able to do that though, right? Did they Gladiator Maximus? It's so correct. It's just it's just all about like uh, if if you choose to control what you can control, and you put the onus of a loss on yourself, and you say how can I get better? Uh, how how can I use this loss to make changes to my gameplay to make me better? You're you're just gonna improve way faster than someone who um, puts the onus on their opponent by like a lot. Another game where we need a, really need a Maximus, I think. The last one. I think it's better to get rid of Daredevil. Especially because we we're probably playing Super Giant next turn. So getting rid of Daredevil is uh, very, very strong. Let's keep this nebula at bay. Once made infinite for the first time, I got frustrated all the time because I wasn't climbing and then I said screw it, I'm gonna just play and make decks for fun and see where it goes. I just brewed a mockingbird lockdown deck, climbed 4,000 ranks today. Well said, just be positive, good life lesson I tell my kids all the time. Yeah, it's just like, it, it's all good things, right? Uh, gives you more enjoyment out of stuff and everything like that. Okay, this is... this is weird. I think we should be scared of Prof left. Of this round, Prof left. Uh, 
Uh, we really want Mordo Jeff next turn so we can um, fill right and use Claw. Okay, first, of, first of all, chill out. If Cannonball, then we're cooked. Well, they have to play four. Uh, they probably have their own Red Hulk. Maybe they don't play around Claw. I don't know. No longer free space for Cannonball. But if it goes right, it still just dies. You could also just choose to go right. So if it's Cannonball middle, Red Hulk left, which I think is probably the most likely, I think Killmonger is our play. All right, let's do it. Sounds cool, chat. Cannonball, what is it? I see. Good win. Uh, we won with either play. But either play won surprisingly, but uh, we take this. Not sure if we kill Monger or not. We're fine with just Jeff. Yeah, Red Guardian Sabretooth would have been would have cooked him. But I think it's a tough, tough play to make. Claw, really good. Nice. Uh, they're setting up Namora stuff, so they probably go like here, here, Namora. Depends on where they put the Nightcrawler. They also ping off the Wong and only get them at 15. We top tech Red Guardian. Okay, this is really good for us. So now we want Red Guardian top deck. Red Guardian top deck guarantees win. Actually, we could probably just guarantee win without Red Guardian top deck. I mean, we get it, which is sick, but. It's a snap. Scared they leave if we snap. Nah, I don't have the Bing song on the uh, Spotify. You have to pay. Uh, you have to pay someone to do that. We'll win middle 15. We should win like every lane here. Could be a casserole. Snap they run? Do you think so? I don't think they will. White Tiger is what becomes a problem. I like guess they swap to White Tiger line, we lose. Doom line? Doom Lion, we still win. Like weird lifting Morty does, and he's like, well, What was it? Weird little lifting. Several audio splits? Me when I'm speed running, making a uh, prank that soldier boy on Fruit Loop Studio. We got there. No, he does have YouTube over his, he does have music over his YouTube. Cause I, I thought that when uh, when you switched to streaming on YouTube, I thought that you were gonna have no music over it. I was gonna be like, oh, that's, I don't wanna do that. But then I watched it and it was like DMC free music. It was pretty cool. It's impressive that you were able to set that up. DJ Dex, that's what many people call him that. Dex, when are you gonna get your own uh, theme song? You're terrible with audio? I 
I don't think anyone believes you. When you say stuff like that. Called you a liar? I think he's just humble. I think it's more being humble than anything. Uh, you're gonna play the freaking Infinite, huh? Hello! So happy! I think they're gonna Taskmaster. I think audio is just the worst and most difficult thing about streaming. Yeah, but you put a lot of, that's because you put a lot of time and effort into it. Which I think is a good thing. All right, chat. I think they're going to play Taskmaster, a Bonnie Mall. I beat Taskmaster, Ebony Mall left crazily. No, I don't beat Taskmaster anymore because of Monster Metropolis. I still beat Scar? Nice. Victory. They don't... Blood doesn't even have a Bonnie Maw. Oh yeah, they can't play Maw. That's a good point. Imagine not having a Bonnie Maw there. Dude. Uh, Can I just eat Maximus here? I kind of want Pryo, so let's do it. I get Pryo, and I get to Red Guardian, their Black Knight. Uh, now, Luke's Bar is going to be tough because they have Jubilee and Ghost Rider on this list, both of which are very good at getting into Luke's Bar. Uh, but I can get a Nocturne down and then sneak something in there later. This is Ghost Rider almost certainly. Oh, Jubilee, which maybe gets Ghost Rider. Does indeed. Let's get Claw. And Tiebreaker? I wish it was that easy, man. Blood has Magento on their deck, which is a scary ass card. Pretty sure we're not going to win Tiebreaker. In range. Locked in. We just lose some Magento left. big problem. What if they have Magento Middle? Magento Middle forces Rickety Bridge to um, change. They have Magento Mid, they pull... No, they wouldn't Magento Mid. Magento Mid would be a huge mistake. But we can't like move Nocturne and Claw left, which is kind of something we want to. But if their play is to just Magento left, then we win le left and middle often. Uh, Cam Best very good at the game. Uh, this list probably has Blink. You can play like Blade Left, Blink Middle or something. Uh, wait, Blink doesn't work. You can play Magento Right. Pull oh, Killmonger Nocturne. Red Guardian. Just try the Claw play. We'll go in for four. Lose to Magento left by two. Pretty likely play. Ah, he was expecting me to kill Rickety Bridge. Nice. Yeah, I purposely didn't want to pop Ricky Bridge for Claw. I think you came best for the four cubes. 
Maybe we have to be playing Maximus a bit more aggressively and just get ahead. We only netted them one draw there because of um, because of how uh, missing a draw here works for them. And let's see what they're doing here. Okay, so it's Hella. See if they can get another discard, we're in trouble. Discard Hella. Discard Hella. Things you love to see. Nice. Victory. This is the second person this exact thing has happened. They've had Hella in hand. We've called out they probably have Hella in hand. They chose to Jubilee on four just because they wanted to play something. Binks.